Yes, we're back home for me, a place where I spent a lot of my years in Vietnam. We're in the, la the land of blue skies, fresh air, cool temperatures, and delicious food. We're at one of my favorite places here, Hien Thuy. I mean, they're like family. When I used to live here, I used to come here three or four times in one week. So we're gonna come in and get here. We're here a little early. We're gonna watch the prep work. We're gonna get a lot of food. It's gonna be a delicious lunch and a great welcome back to the lab. Let's get inside. So you can see, actually what they do is they're, they're famous for kind of like their lunch and dinner. But in the mornings they also do sell bung tik nung with the nim nung here. You can see they got right here going on. It's good, but the thing you come here for is lunch and we're starting to get it prepped here. We got Anne, we're gonna have tea. They're just like family. Check it out, what we got so far. Now I know about y'all, y'all can hear that frying. Let's over here and see how it is. Hey, Chinese. Hey, อ่าแกะเติมข้าวเต้วอ่าแกะเติมข้าวเต้วอ่าแกะเติมข้าวเต้วอ่าแกะเติมข้าวเต้วอ่าแกะเติมข้าวเต้วอ่าแกะเติม
cỡ trên 10 món đó nha à, Thịt kho trứng này, thịt kho tôm nè à, Sườn non kho nè, sườn non xào chua ngọt nè Gà kho gừng, gà chiên mắm nè Cá 3-4 loại chắc cũng hơn 10 món đó nha Nhiều lắm <cười> Nhiều mà tại sao tất cả là ngon lắm Ngon <cười> không em? À, em em rất là bất ngờ bởi vì có nhiều nhiều món ở đây à. nhưng tất cả là ngon à. không có món gì ở đây không ngon oh, yeah yeah well mm, I didn't make it out of the kitchen I didn't I didn't pass the test so they said just go drink coffee get out of the way I was getting in the way of the kitchen I guess no I'm just kidding this is like what they do here like I said I'm family uh, got me a little cafe sơ cafe sơ nóng here and they said go ahead and have coffee Mình hấp dẫn Mình rất là ngon Em có đôi bụng <cười> Làm miếng cơm nha Dạ có đôi bụng quá Rồi làm miếng cơm nha Dạ yeah, được Ok we just got word we Got a new dish been prepared You come ask me if I wanted to watch it So we got something special here Đây là sườn non xào chua ngọt Dạ yeah, đây là bột gì Bột này là bột năng Bột năng mm. So this she's gonna get the bột năng here So it's actually gonna give you a great sweet and sour pork texture You gotta have that You see, she got some of the soon. I do believe this is the same soon she used coming from that pressure cooker. Yeah, but I'm scared. 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 Hết đâu rồi, chị đâu một chút thôi À dạ hả? <cười> Bởi vì chị uh, mạnh mẹ hợp em Vì nghề mà đúng không? Đúng À em có quýnh rồi chị, chị có bán ở đây bao nhiêu năm rồi? Chị bán ở đây là gần 30 năm rồi 30 năm? It's really funny she's making this dish because I don't remember really ever eating this when I lived in Dalat. I almost feel like this is something new she did or... I don't know, I... I maybe I'm just getting old, my memory's getting bad. Yeah. Ah, sum còn mềm và giòn giòn đúng không? Rồi. And one thing I love is like... No wonder it's so flavorful. There's just like little steps that you wouldn't really think about when you're eating it. But she's got like a broth over here, like a flavorful broth. And when she like cleans out her little sauce bowl, not talking to me. When she cleans out her little sauce bowl, she uses that broth instead of just something like water, like hot water. So, duh. That's why it just keeps building flavor. Nóng rồi. Nóng. Nóng. Đúng rồi. Nhìn. Nhìn chi hết đầu rồi. All right, now the hardest part, stopping in a reasonable amount of food <laughs> when you order. Okay. Ooh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So much good stuff here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 14, 16, 20, 21. And they're not even completely finished, but we're gonna go ahead and eat because I want to order. Uh, I don't want to be in the way because they get busy, busy, busy here. So try not to, I just hate the lumpin. So we won't do that. Cá cơm, cá cơm is always a must for me. When I see cá cơm, like I always order cá cơm. It's cá cơm co. That's like two Vietnamese like staples, like mm, together. So you always gotta get that. Ah, uh, cá 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 thu, cá thu. Uh, đúng rồi. Đúng. Đây là chấm cài, chấm cài rất là may mắn. Đúng rồi. Rồi xong rồi. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I failed. I failed at my mission. Sit down. Oh man, they're really pulling out the stops here. These are huge plates. I usually get like the small, they have different sizes you can get. I usually get the small plates and order a bunch of things, but we're pulling out the stops today. And so you'll see right here on his burners back here, he'll heat some of these up. Kind of in like the noi I actually don't know if it's clay pot or not, but uh, he will do that. He'll heat it up, get that nice little extra caramelization for you and nice and piping hot when it comes out to your table. Ooh. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. Look at that. 
just bubbling hot. Let it come to your plate, just like that. Wow, these are big plates. Come on, yeah. What animal is that? One, two, three, four, that's five, six. We're getting there. Oh man, what happened here? What a plate. Had to get some garlic, ready to go. I uh, forgot my green chilies as well, but we'll get back over there. This is called, this is what happens when you skip breakfast. You know what I mean? You just get in front of the food and there's too much good stuff. And you know it's all gonna taste delicious. Let's go. Jolly. And moi moi moi. The end come. So I think, I'm scared to get these like up in the food. I think start out with something simple. Zoom in right here, right here, check that out. This is just how good Vietnamese food is right here, right? Boiled pork, but you can get it with the mum thom, you can get it with the kho phao. I just like to dip my boiled pork in a little mum thom right here. Get it over the rice. Even better, get it with some fresh vegetable, get it with some pickled, Mustard green. Get it with the kapow as well. Best Vietnamese food you're ever gonna eat. Right here. One thing I miss about the lads, all the green chilies, but it's this right here. You can see it. It's this like, what we saw when we first walked in. This right here over rice, y'all, I don't even think y'all realize, they would be millionaires if they sold this. Kakum, right here, call style, look at that. Oh, it looks delicious. Over the rice. Give me a little piece of pork belly. Vietnamese special. I want to give it some flavor. Give it some pork belly, some sugar, some nook mom. Oh, I need a spoon. I want some of the sauce. Right here, that cacao. Most people go to the lab. They want to take pictures. They want to go to cafes. They want to relax and enjoy me. I just want to eat here. For me, Vietnamese food always tastes better with the fresh vegetable. I know it's gonna sound strange, but when you get the little bones in here, something about that little bony texture, I kinda like in a cat gum. But man, when you get that, that fat, packed, oily fish, it's been cooked in that nook mom and sugar. Oh, and then to make it even better, you got the rendered down pork belly in there and some chili. I mean, these are reasons when you eat dishes like this, people come to Vietnam and they never leave. Another staple, the tofu with the meat stuffed inside. Get the tomatoes just falling apart on top as well. You know, it looks like an easy dish, but it's really not. To have the, the skin of the tofu almost kind of like, not really just like crispy, crunchy. Kind of have this hard, slight texture that's different than the soft, silky inside. Then with the, almost a like ground meat melt in your mouth, earthy sweetness on the inside. It's, it's a hard dish to do right, but when you do it right, it's an underrated dish. Okay, two. I wonder, what's our, what's our number for today gonna be? I have no clue. If I was nice, right, I would use this side of the chopsticks to go, but luckily, my camera person and I, we know each other pretty well. Oh, there you go right there. There's that chicken. Prize part though, there's gonna be that skin on the back side right there. Me right there, I'd like to get a few of those ginger slices in with that sauce and then right there over it all. To me right here, even they just do like little fresh refreshing salads. Mm. The irony is it's called like family rice and that right there just reminds me of home. It just reminds me of like a vinegar coleslaw. Delicious, cleanses the palate, refreshing, light, cooling. Another tomatoey dish. But I like how they've taken the katu, they've cooked it, but I fried it so then you get nice and crispy. Zoom in on it, check it out right here. Look at that. Oh man, I'm gonna need a spoon for this one. But again, when you get that fried texture on the fish, nice and crispy, but then that golden, golden money sauce right there, it's oily. Oh, look at that oil. You can see how rich and fatty that is, mixed with a tomato. When you cook tomatoes down this much to me, not just a sweetness, but almost a nice umami flavor from it as well. Mm. 
they just know how to cook things here. So many people have had that dish, right? And the fish is dry, so dry. But that is crunchy, that is fried, it is flaky, it is sweet, not dry at all. Now, I'm not a huge sweet and sour pork guy, but anything Miss Hinty makes, I will definitely give a try. I like the way she's like fried those ribs as well. I'm trying to get one that's coated in sauce, so let's take me a second there. Dripping with the sauce. Oh, soft pork rib, created the skin on it by frying it. I was surprised how much the sauce flavor had the bell pepper taste into it. it was a, it's a very strong onion and bell pepper. We're not finished, but we gotta give everything a try. Oh man, huge piece of, oh my gosh, look at this. Not just one, we got two pieces of cat in here. That's enough cat for a family of four. I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat all that cat Let's just try it. Pineapple, lots of bean sprouts. Oh man, tomato. I love their use of tomatoes here. Such high quality produce. Things you can only get in the lap. Sour soup for the digestion. Đang nhiều đúng không? No quá rồi. No quá đúng không? Rất hay. Tôi làm quá nhiều. Đúng rồi, đúng rồi. Có bún rất là to giống như thai đúng không? Đây là giảm giá, có giảm giá. Hả? Có giảm giá đúng không? Cảm ơn em. Cảm ơn em chị nha. Rồi, rất là cảm ơn em nha. Cảm ơn em nha. Rồi, em đi đây. Em đi nha. Dạ. Well, we paid. At least we paid for the workers here at least. Uh, there's a reason it reads uh, come yet in because when you eat here, or at least I do, it's family. Now, some of the best things to do in Dalat is to do nothing at all. And kind of like I said, you come here, you come to cafes, you take pictures. Come on. So we're in a part of the lat, a little bit outside the city center that I really love. I got a bike parking deck right here. Show them the bike parking deck. So you just kind of park your bike right here, right? And down right over here, we got a lot of cafes. So we'll head this way. <laughs> now you gotta be careful. It's steep hills, it's bumpy, it's 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 rustic and charming, just like the lat. Uh, we got Chao Vale. So this is a cafe I used to love to come to. Um, but now as you can see the parking over here, it's completely full and just like Well that Vietnamese business style. There's like three or four cafes that open right next to it. So we're gonna go to another one All right, we're gonna go to Cafe Lin. Looks charming. Try it out. Look at this like little walkway in right here I just love all the flowers the actual just different types of ecosystem you get from all the, the trees and plants and everything Check this out how beautiful it is Okay, I got about five seconds of music just off. This is a Cafe Camuy. If you've been anywhere in Vietnam the last three or six months, you've seen this Cafe Mui really become popular. There's a reason why I may like it even more than I do back seal and that's a bold 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 statement i can't believe i'm here myself even say that now as if if three cups of coffee were enough go for something sweet go for the chair so you see right here you get a main road in the lat and back here on this little side road bumpiest road might as well just call it the bumpiest road in the lat you come over here you gotta work your way down it but it's worth it you get some chia here um wrong time of day it's like middle of the day i no no vietnamese person in the right mind eats chia this time back hello Chè thân Dạ Chè bắp Dạ Khoai môn Đầu quán Dạ Rồi, hắn có bán ở đây bao nhiêu năm rồi? Ờ... Ở đây thì mười mấy năm à Mười mấy năm rồi ờ. Nhưng uh, em nghĩ có hai người bán chè ở đây đúng không? Có cô và có anh đúng không? Đúng rồi À, ai có mở bán uh, lâu hơn? Không, bán ở 
Giống nhiều. Mình bán ở ngoài chợ. À ở chợ. Nên uh... mình bán ở chợ được 44 năm rồi. Ở 44 năm rồi đây có chuyện ở đây được không? Không thì bây giờ vẫn bán hai nơi. Dạ. À hiểu. Rồi đó vẫn bán, đây vẫn bán. À. Có bán là uh, bán từ mấy giờ đến mấy giờ? Bán từ uh, 7 giờ tới 4 giờ. À, 4, 4 giờ, giờ sáng. 4 giờ chiều. 4 giờ chiều. À nhưng quý vị em không có hình chè nhiều uh, trưa đúng không? Có hay là sáng và tối đúng không? À, cảm ơn nha. Lò quá không có thử chè khoai môn ở đây. À, I love this. You can see as big pieces of uh, khoai môn in here. Mà lo đi bạc chè and the lát. It's not too sweet. Like sometimes you get in Saigon, it's super sweet. When you get the nước dừa here, it's got a little bit of salty to it, salty sweet. A little perfect afternoon snack. Tom, đúng rồi. Rồi. Hai nem, hai nem rồi, không có không có ăn chè này. Rồi. 